here we are again. It's Sunday. Coffee break. Yeah, I've taken a break from, uh, been working on uh, game systems again for, uh, to sell on eBay. I sold my last batch last weekend, last week. And now it, today I just kind of was working on that stuff. Nothing interesting, didn't video any of it. Just basically cleaning up some stuff and getting it up and running again and hunting down parts for them. Nothing, nothing real fun, I'll tell you. Uh, I haven't run into anything really, really interesting on video games. But, you know, I hope everybody had a great week. Uh, it was, wasn't bad this week. Uh, I got some parts in. Uh, we did get the uh, motherboard in for Zombie Revenge and uh, started a video on that, and uh, I'm, I don't know when I'm going to be releasing any of the, uh, any more on Zombie Revenge. Uh, Sharky Shootout, I worked over the MPU board again. Had it uh, kind of up and running. Uh, you could start a game. It was stuck in audits, and the DMD would go blank when you press the start button, but and now it's back to its old tricks again. So I'm still still working on it. Uh, and I hope hope everybody enjoyed the the short series this week on the Realistic Lab 400. I started that started working on that back it was probably July or August or whenever TC gave it to me. It wasn't too long after that I got started on it and run into some problems with it and then got busy doing other other stuff for the channel. And it just kind of was sitting there and I figured yep, it's time to uh, pull it back out and get it going again. Get, get back on it and I did get it going. Uh, let's see what else is going on. Oh, not a whole hell of a lot. I did start my Patreon, and if anybody's interested in supporting the channel, uh, feel free to go to Retro Gaming with Hopper on Patreon, and the uh, link's always in the description, and show your support for the channel if you if you would like to. I'm not telling that you have to, just telling you if you want to. Uh, I'll probably... <clears throat> start the affiliated program again with Amazon. Uh, when I do, I'll announce it and have it in the description as well. If you want, you know, if you're going to go to Amazon and buy anything, uh, if you use my link, then I get a small percentage. I get a tip and that helps support the channel and, and buy more crap to work on. Or just buy parts for crap that I am working on. <laughs> uh, Right now, that's about the only way I can uh, buy anything. Uh, this week, uh, Christmas, Christmas is coming up. That's this weekend, next weekend, not this weekend, next weekend. And I hope everybody has good plans and gonna uh, go get yourself stuffed with some good food and good friends and and have some fun. Uh, this week, I'm going to upload a video every day this week for Christmas, all the way through until I, I have all of them uploaded that I have, or posted all the ones I have uploaded. I think I have seven waiting right now to be posted, and I'm working on more what I, I need to... Uh, clear some space out on the hard drive for more videos. I didn't... The only video I did do this week was I just was working on uh, Sharky Shootout and Zombie Revenge. Those are the only videos that I, I kind of was starting some of those and, you know, run into some some problems as usual with this stuff. That's normally what happens. Yeah, so this week... Uh, it'll be a a mix of uh, game game system and some 
electronics, some old electronics or retro electronics or whatever you want to call them. Uh, if I have more uploaded, I'll keep going all the way towards the, the new year. To, I just I need to get some of that stuff uh, posted. Uh, there's going to be a couple, of, there will probably be some videos that have uh, two, two items in it because they're short. And it was just a matter of getting them cleaned up and tested. And so I can get, you know, a couple of them in one video uh, to make it at least a half an hour anyway. Uh, there's some pretty hefty ones in there that'll be uh, coming up. Uh, the one that I was uploading today is a uh, uh, yellow lighted of death PS3 fat that I kind of I found a uh, found out how to repair them, so I, I got started on that one. Uh, this, that one that I'm uploading today is uh, part one. That'll be out there a ways because it'll, it'll be at the bottom or at the top and I'm going to start and work my way up from the bottom on my videos that I have uploaded uh, just to get those out of there and then clear up some stuff out of my hard drive get a bunch of that stuff there's going to be quite a bit of it that's was done back in the summer that I I just never got to uh, rendering or editing and rendering and getting uploaded because uh, something else just seemed in more interesting so I I turn around and you know worked on that but this weekend uh, Christmas weekend I think starting Friday it's uh, our high here is only going to be about 18 degrees so I got to get some stuff uh, done here out here and probably do some more video and before before this weekend because I won't be out here when it's 18 degrees it's bad enough it's about 28 degrees out here today and I'm out here working. You know, it's on what you get used to. You get used to it. So, uh, you know, no big deal. Uh, this year, I wasn't able to, to buy propane to heat the garage. So, you know, I'm working the cold. It is what it is, you know. There's not much you can do about it except grin and bear it. But even after uploading a video every day, this week and maybe into next week towards the new year. I still got plenty of stuff to work on. Uh, I have my uh, old Chicago coin top 10 sitting over there, pinball machine EM, that I still can't find a score motor for it. It's a, it's a four cam score motor that uh, I need the whole assembly. They cut it out. Uh, I may pull the play field out and and redo the play field and then I'll have it ready I can uh, bag it and tag it and put it away but you know that'll give me something to do I, I feel like working on a pinball machine and um, Sharky shootouts been been kinda kinda being a pain in the you know what but you know I'm not gonna give up on it I'll keep I'll keep after it and like I said in Zombie Revenge I'll probably post a video on it and show you what the hell's going on with it. And I got piles of game systems all over the place out here, all half tore apart or tore all apart, I'm trying to uh, get some more stuff done and ready. But you know I'll have enough. Uh, I can probably. Uh, put two two or three more batches of stuff on on eBay before I'm running really thin and but you know I, it, I need to get rid of it and get it out there and get let somebody enjoy it instead of it sitting in a pile and and collecting dust and not not being enjoyed uh, it's the same way I feel about um, all of our pinball machines and video games is you know, I hate to see them burnt or tore apart, thrown in the landfill and burnt. You know, I'd rather save as many of them as I can. Uh, just around this area, I don't, I don't get, there's not that much of that stuff around this area. I have to go, you know, sometimes out of state or uh, all the way 
out south or south. Yeah, go south. Uh, there's a few things in Cleveland, but not very many pe people post much up in Cleveland. It's more down towards Philadelphia, down towards uh, Todd Tuckery's area is where uh, that's where the auction is that I um, buy a lot of stuff from. Uh, they just started another one. Uh, see, I think it goes off December or 20 days is what it's going to run. And then live bidding will start. You can do early bird bidding, but there, there's nothing there for me. And plus, I don't have the means to do it anyway. So, you know, I was kind of glad that there was nothing there. <laughs> If you're not familiar, uh, I, you know, I've, I've said it before, everything I, I fix here and sell on eBay uh, goes right towards uh, the bills for the arcade and store. And, there, you know, when, I, when those are due, those are due, there's a, quite a bit of loan to pay off on that. Uh, it was a shame that we got started late open late but uh, you know that's that's just the way it goes you know there's not nothing I could do about it you know you're kinda at the mercy of everybody else mainly inspectors and that um, so this year uh, it's a, gonna be a really thin thin winter uh, it you know, Christmas is coming up uh, next weekend, and, you know, we kind of had to make a decision, well, do we have a big dinner, or do we buy gifts, or or do we uh, just have a big dinner and stay stay warm for the winter, because everything's gone up. Uh, I just had my propane, propane tanks filled for the, the house, and that was $413 just for the propane. And but I'm pretty sure we get about two months out of that until you know January and February when the really cold hits. That's when you really start using a lot of a lot of propane to heat. So I'll I'll spend more time in the house doing doing something. Uh, I don't know about videoing, but you know it's kind of hard in there. You know, uh, everybody's got their problems uh, right now because of the way things are. So, you know, I'm I'm sure I'm not the only one. Uh, I have a couple other things coming up. I think uh, I'm gonna uh, do a do a review on a. I don't know if it, I'm gonna say it's a review. I'm just gonna. I have a, an album cleaner for cleaning records uh, that I haven't opened yet and I think we'll uh, I'll do a video on that opening that up and uh, we'll clean some albums and see if that helps with them it yeah, can't sure to hell can't hurt some of them game systems uh, like I said I still have uh, part two to do on that uh, yellow light of death PS3 that'll be coming up uh, get other game systems, I don't know, there's, there's not a whole, oh, I may have some interesting stuff coming, you know, like rebuilding a controller for a 360, I mean, uh, I'm out of good 360 controllers, so I gotta, uh, dig in my junk box and pull some stuff out and start putting some controllers together. I, I have two, three, two, three or four Xbox 360s that I can have ready to sell. And so we'll do those. I, I've got a couple uh, Wavebirds coming up for GameCube. Uh, I finally, I found all the parts for those today. So uh, we're going to test them out. If, if they test and work, work okay, then I guess there's not going to be a video on them. But if we have to do something to them and you see it in the description, then you know, or in the title, you'll know that there was a that I had to do something to them to get them to work. Or they are dumpster food. Who knows? Uh, a, lot of, a lot of that stuff. 
<laughs> I got quite a bit of dumpster food and you know the uh, trash people they don't take uh, electronics so it's kind of hard to, to dump too much of that stuff in the, in the uh, dumpster. I can bury a little bit of it now and then but not too much. Uh, let's see I'm starting to run out of things to say and do here. Uh, dance a little. Uh, uh, oh yeah, I remember what I was going to say. Um, I was watching uh, Ron over at Joe's Classic Video Games and he had in a time warp he was working on and uh, it had them banana flippers on it. Uh, he said there was only two games that were made, uh, Disco Fever and Time Warp with banana flippers on them. And, you know, I can remember playing those games, both of them, as a kid. And I absolutely hated those banana flippers. Uh, I've turned down uh, Time Warp because of it having those banana flippers. I know you can put the straight flippers on them, but it... it it just wouldn't look right without the banana flippers on it. Uh, tell me what you think about banana flippers on those. Have you ever played played either Time Warp or Disco Fever with the banana flippers on it or not? And do you like them? Uh, let's see. And you know, Todd had a Todd Tuckery down there, TNT Amusements. I watch all his stuff, and I I buy some stuff on his uh, Sunday auctions now and then. Uh, he had his bargain basement where he goes through and slashes the prices on stuff. And then he goes out in the warehouse and sells a bunch of uh, crap out of the warehouse. Some old old stuff, damaged stuff, stuff's not working and, and all that. And he had a couple of things in there that I would've, wouldn't have minded having at the time. But uh, garage is full enough. Uh, I have... Like I said, I, I have a um, itching to get an, another pinball machine in here to work on another one. But, uh, you know, other things kind of taking precedence on what I have to do uh, to take care of other things. Like, take care of Bill. He's always got his hand out. But right now, the uh, pinball machines and uh, arcade videos are they're still going really high. In my opinion, I don't know. You know I guess it's just the times. That's, that's the way that stuff's going to be probably from now on. You know, uh, a lot of my machines I bought, I don't know, a couple of years ago. And, you know, non-working, I was paying like $250. $300 for a non-working pinball machine. Now, non-working pinball machine, uh, depending on what it is, you know, $800, $1,200 bucks for a non-working pinball machine. And video games, you know, there's still a lot of good deals you can find out there on videos if you, if you don't mind working on them. Um, I'm going to try and... I really don't want the old, old stuff in the arcade. Um, like, uh, now I wouldn't mind having a Miss Pac-Man. Putting in a Miss Pac-Man or, or Pac-Man. I have a Miss Pac-Man board. I don't know if it's any good or not. but And it's not a JAMA, so I can't test it with my tester. But um, I could have swore I bought a an adapter to test out uh, Miss Pac-Man. Uh, uh, one of those, yes, that, that's a uh, real iconic, and I think that one would still be played an awful lot. But some of them older, uh, what they call Bronze Age, and and stuff like that, I I I think people really want those for to collect and play by themselves. I don't think that a younger generation, 
you know, would want to play uh, asteroids. I don't know, I guess it's maybe it's not exciting enough. Now, some of the parents would because they remember playing it as a kid. You know, same with Missile Command. Uh, Pac-Man and Miss Pac-Man are kind of timeless. That, that seems like uh, people are still playing it even on their phones. I'd hate to try and play that on a phone. Uh, pinball machines. Uh, well, video games. Let's stay on video games. Video games, I kind of like to stay in the 80s. And uh, I like the 90s. Um, video games, you know, House of the Dead, House of the Dead 2, Zombies Revenge. Zombies Revenge is late 80s. I think that's 88. Uh, that's when they started really doing a lot of uh, SMD, surface mount devices. Uh, those are harder to diagnose and uh, troubleshoot and fix. Um, because uh, the components are so stinking small that you, you almost need a, a magnifying, a magnified screen with camera so you can actually get right down to it. Uh, even the old man lens over here with the light on it is even, it's not strong enough to, to see a lot of that surface mount uh, stuff and replace it. Uh, I just did uh, Super NES. I had to replace one of those three-legged, uh, I think it's a three-legged diode on, uh, on the board to get the one controller port working. I didn't video it because I just, I was already into it and it would be kind of hard to try and um, tell you what what I'm doing and what's going on. So I just, I've, I fixed it, you know, and that I could do. It was uh, with the magnifying light, it was, I could get it big enough. You know, it was big enough I could actually see what the hell I'm doing and I could get that up off of there. Uh, magnifying light's great for just regular uh, circuit boards that you can, uh, with, you know, through through board mounts. You know, because all that stuff's pretty big. Surface mount, I mean, now you're getting down to some of that stuff the size of a head of a pin and smaller. So you really do need a magnified camera so you can uh, get down and, and work on that type of stuff. Uh, I'd love to have a House of the Dead or Area 51, Area 51, Site 4. Uh, I like all those. Um... What the hell was it? There was a couple of other ones. Oh, the one with Aerosmith in it. Um, I don't know. I can't remember. Evil Dead? No. I don't think. No, it wasn't Evil Dead. But anyway, that one, yeah. That type of stuff I like. Uh, but I do need some a uh, little bit more kid-friendly games. Uh, I was watching another. There was a Carnival Games was a good one or yeah I think car not carnival was it carnival games or carnival shoot uh, something like that where you you shoot plates and cups and you know and stuff like that uh, they adapted and went to the Wii with it uh, I think it's carnival games but that was first that was an arcade cabinet and that one I wouldn't mind having I think the kids would like playing that uh, they like all that gory stuff anyway, zombies and, and stuff like that, so, hmm, what the hell. You know, as long as the parents say it's okay for them to, to to play it, I don't give a crap what they play. Just give me your money. Give me your money and have fun. Because the more fun you have, the more you'll come back. So it's a matter of uh, finding some more of that stuff. That's why I'm really pushing getting zombie, zombie Revenge done. Because it's a good game. That one's a spin-off from House of the Dead. And House of the Dead 2, it's kind of in that series, I guess. I went over that in the first video on, on Zombie Revenge. And the Redemptions. Uh, I really like working on Redemption machines. Those are those are really fun. I guess I'm still a kid and like to play Redemption games. Uh, the one I don't like is I don't like my Gravity Hill. I do not like that game. 
I play it now and then, but I do not like it. Uh, Lighthouse, uh, they're fun to play, but then once I uh, found out how they work, now they're not so much fun. Because I figured, you know, after setting it up, I, I see that it, that, you know, okay. <clears throat> That's why um, I have those two. Uh, I talked about this last last week, so but I'm going to talk about it again. I have those two photo machines out there, and I want to get one of them. I want to get them in and see what I can do with one of them by getting one of them together, because I think that'll be something else that the, that kids will really like playing. Pinball machines. Um, it seems like. People gravitate more towards my uh, lightning that we did. They like that second tier on lightning. They love playing that uh, Night Rider. They play Night Rider, and in the EMs, they like the Gottlob Soccer, and that was my favorite game as a kid when EMs were still a thing. Uh, 76, I played that one brand new when it first first made it out on location. It was brand new when I played it. Uh, same with Gorgar. Uh, they don't, nobody's played Gorgar. You know, I thought everybody would become, you know, be right on Gorgar and be playing Gorgar. Uh, but no. Or my other, um, my other sharkies. Pool sharks. I thought they would be all over that valley, pool sharks. Nope. Nope, like the lightning, the stern lightning, uh, Knight Rider, uh, the Star Trek, of course. The only reason they play that is because they're Star Trek fans. And soccer. You know, other ones, other ones, yeah. Now, I had a few people play Sinbad, Gottlieb's Sinbad. That's, 78, 1978 Solid State System 1. That game is hard as hell. You have the four flippers at the bottom, and I'll be damned if I don't lose it between the flippers every time. That, that game is hard. I like Dragon better. I like playing Dragon better at Gottlob System 1. That's another 78. I like the System 1s because uh, uh, Gottlob had just taken over, you know, just just started with their solid states uh, in 78. Uh, they were the last ones to actually move into solid states because they didn't want to. That's why on a lot of your Gottlobs, even uh, the newer Gottlobs in the 80s and 90s still have relays in them is because they... You know, they were number one in EM, building EMs. They had the best EMs. And so they carried a lot of that stuff right into their um, solid states. Uh, the very target, you know, came out of... <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, but, yeah, those were in their EMs, and they just kind of carried that right into their solid states and used their very target, and they still used a lot of relays in their in their machines, too, which was, you know, fine. They're easy. Easy to take care of and clean and get working again. Uh, a lot of people say that EMs are harder to work on than solid states. Well... Uh, I kind of beg to differ when you start getting into some of this newer stuff like uh, Sharky Shootout. That's a 2001 with that white star board in it. Yuck. But, you know, acid damage, you can never get it. Battery damage, you can never get rid of battery damage all the way. There's always some, something that's getting eat up by battery by battery acid or alkaline, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I wouldn't mind, I kind of like tabletops. Those little cocktail tables, those are kind of neat. Um, Multicades I'm not a big fan of. I think if you're gonna play a game, a video game, you, you find it 
in an, a cabinet by itself and play it. It doesn't have to be dedicated. If it's a kit, that's fine too. But uh, at some point, I may put a multi-cade in, just for the simple fact is I can put some... I think it'd be kind of neat to put some 8-bit uh, stuff in a multi-cade. Uh, that way, you can... You could have one machine and, you, you know, with a bunch of games in it, like, you know, 20, 40, or 60 games. But but uh, maybe those older ones that um, that I don't want to get the full cabinets. And you can cut down on how many cabinets you have to have in an arcade with multi-cades. It's just that it's not the same experience playing um, dedicated or kit cabinet compared to a multi-cade. Uh, the older, I don't know, the nostalgia or, I don't know, it's it, it's just not there. It, it's different. I'd rather rather play the stuff in a single cabinet by itself and not a multi-cade. Multi-cade, I uh, just, I feel like I'm, I have a cheap handheld or something in my hand playing a multi-cade. But, you know, that's just me. Tell me what you think. Uh, what else can we bullshit about? Uh, hey, the weather. Yeah, I'm going to get some snow tonight. <laughs> uh, I don't... Uh, I don't talk with a lot of other YouTubers. Uh, a lot of times I watch a lot of videos, but I don't... Uh, comment a lot. I don't comment very much at all on other people's channels. I just, uh, I don't know. I, I feel like I'm, I'm trying to steal their subscribers or something. I don't know. I just, you know, but there's a few of them. Ron, uh, Joe's Classic Video Games, I, I comment on that quite a bit. Not a whole, whole lot, but, you know, some. And there's other ones I do. Uh, there's not a whole bunch of channels that I watch on YouTube. Um, I don't. I don't know. Uh, I watch a lot, a lot of Todd stuff, TNT Amusements. Uh, those guys are they're good. I, you know, I was down there and I met met all of them, and um, they're all good people down there. So I I enjoy watching his stuff. But, you know, I think this one has been long enough, and I think I've babbled on long enough. Uh, if anybody has any questions, uh, leave them in the comments. Or if you, you want me to talk about something on next Sunday, which is Christmas, and I'll, I'll still post a video on Christmas. And, hey, have a good week, and I will talk with everybody again on next Sunday and I hope to see you there so until then see ya all right I was uh, working on this uh, no my uh, boards uh, main board again now the one I just got and uh, I got a notification that today is the channel's birthday. Uh, four years ago today, which is the 17th, Saturday, I I started this channel. So I've been working at this for four years, uh, off and on pretty heavy here the last two years. Uh, kind of the first two years it was kind of, I was just kind of messing around and, you know, just doing some stuff there at the store with it and not really, uh, I don't know, I guess taking advantage of what I should have been doing at that time. Uh, I probably would be a lot further ahead after four years, but I figured not too bad for, for two years of hitting it pretty hard. So I figured I'd just kind of add that in and I'll get back to this uh, dirt ball that I bought and hopefully I can get it working. As I'm looking at this uh, 
amendment to what I said earlier in the video. Uh, Zombie Revenge is uh, 1999, not not late 80s is what I thought it was. Uh, Zombie Revenge is actually 1998 and uh, this Nomi board is 1999. So just wanted to clear that up so uh, I don't totally make a fool out of myself. That's the thing disgusting. Alright, back to work.